Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. I'm here with the Good Eddie morning. Horvath and ZZ. Hey, if you go back to the last video I put on, on the Friday video, there's a pinned comment in there from ZZ Mark. Oh. And um, go back and read it. And you can say hi to ZZ through the... Oh, yeah, through the comments. So, uh, yeah, he's he's still on the run. They haven't got him yet, so. <laughs> All right. It is the 27th of April, and this is the last weekend in April, and we got thunder in the background, and we got rain on the way, but it's 54 degrees. It's beautiful it out right now. Enough. Super thanks is Russ Oles. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thanks, Russ. And don't forget, next weekend, it will be the 4th of May. Up in Corsica, Pennsylvania, I will try to remember to put it in the description as far as the directions to the Corsica Fire Hall. And they're going to have a benefit for Pete to help him out. There'll be a meet and greet. Uh, you get to say hi to Pete in person. We're going to be hanging out there. Um, I think uh, food. Stump Jumper. Yeah. Um, I, I heard Mike Morgan talking about he might even come up or with Outdoors with the Morgans. And uh, it'll be a good time. Some food. Just, just please show up. Yeah. All right, and uh, all right, what else we got going on here? National Pike, yes. the, the Steam, Gas, and Horse show is coming up the 18th of May. Um, I think ZZ, he, he might break free. He, he, might, he might be there. Yeah. So we're going to be hanging out at the sawmill there. It'll be like a meet and greet. Anybody wants to come up and say hi to us, remember the 18th of May, National Pike. That's a good show. It's, it's, a, worse it's, it's a real yeah. nice show. And... We got something from Landtop, oh, and yeah. uh, Landtop is a company that makes all kinds of attachments for skid steers, and this here is a receiver to go on forks, and we're going to try this out on this video. They also sent us a nice uh, work basket, which is uh, you put on the forks and it's a man lift, yeah. and I don't have it here today, but it will be on future videos coming up. They also sent me an air conditioner. Ah. There you go. <laughs> it even got a suction cup on it, and this will go on my window and it hooks into the USB and it's a nice little cab fan. This is beautiful if you had a piece of equipment that didn't have an air conditioner working, and uh, that will really be good. They gave us hats. Oh yeah, this hat. And <laughs> they also sent us up. Th these are actually pretty funny. I'll, I'll show them on the camera here. So you can hold them. Farm safety notice. <laughs> I like it. No smoking, Eddie. No smoking. Yeah, and it said this is not a playground. So there's one of them. Oh yeah. I like this one. This, yeah. this is kind of like the old school warning. And uh, I'm gonna get some metal cut out for these and put them. They're oh, stickers. Yeah. And this is a real nice one here. So it's all about safety. So mm -hmm. there we go. Thank you. Yeah, you're too um, kind. And we will be demonstrating how this works here on this video. And other than that, what do we got going today? Uh, we're going to get into white pine. Finally get into that pile. Uh, there's, so, a, there's a bunch of it that you saw our pile. So, there. yeah, this, uh, if you like pine, this, this is going to be your... You're going to see more than one video. You're going to see a ton of videos on pine. So, well... This isn't getting it done. Let's get, let's get moving. <clears throat> All righty, everybody. Let's get this show started. And... We're getting into some nice white pine. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Haven't sawed it for a while. And we got a lot of it to saw, so let's wake the doggies up from their nap. And first log got a good bit of taper to it, but we'll handle it. Eddie's getting the saw going. Now we're gonna film you a video. And these are 12 foot logs, and they were only going to make it on the three head blocks. So if you're wondering why I'm not going on the four of them, you got your answer. All right, let me open them up a little bit more. That'll work. So. Open up just a little bit more. Get to get on her pedals. I kind of like what I'm seeing there. So doggies up, doggies out, and doggies down. I'm going after the kids, everybody. Said the kids like that. Master dog down. Roll it forward. 
Man, we did not, uh, I gotta, I gotta bump the tape real. Bear with me. I think we're good. Let's open this up, see how far in we go, you know. Take one more off. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get Eddie to trim that up after he's done. We're going to put that down on the head walks change of plans here. No sense of playing around. We'll get her down to the magic number. And we're waiting for Buzzsaw Buzzy. He is absent. piece right there would do is drag the back of the log deck and cause me all kinds of grief. There we go. I still think I'm going to put just a little bit more lead in the saw since we're going to be cutting a bunch of uh, pine. I'll make that decision after these few logs. Because we do switch back and forth. Okay, we're going to put the taper away, Bill Ellis. So let's put this flat down on the head blocks. Got a little boom. And I think I'm going to leave that alone the way it's looking here. Let's just start there. I'm going to get some short boards out. We can still use it. It's going to take just a sliver. I can edge a full board out. This stuff here got a little denim in it. Um, Right now, the softwood market has sort of tanked. This is why we bought them. We do things kind of opposite here because um, when you can afford something, you buy it. some spruce uh, two by fours coming up. We'll let Eddie get that over to the edger. Yeah, we sure miss easy. Alright, let's put this down on the hip box. Hopefully Chewy don't uh, do too much damage here. Boom. Just making sure my tapers are put away. And doggies up, doggies up, doggies down. Bring it over to Mr. Laser. I'll back up so we can see him. Let's start there. Just a little bit more.
try to get an eight foot board if I can. Try to whittle this down to a one by twelve. We're taking all sheeting off of this. Anything white pine, we're going to cut into one inch boards. Anything spruce, we're going to cut into structural. And you can see how it's clearing up as we're getting in the middle. And you talk about good smelling. Got any board coming your way? Give him a minute to get caught up here. And once we get past all the edging boards, then things can move fast. See where we're at in the path here. Yeah. Take one more. We're going to take a little bit off the top, a little bit off the back side. Then we'll have a nice 12 inch can. Let's turn it into some nice lumber once you get in the middle past that denim. Alright, let's bring this completely around. I run that chain down just a little bit on Chewy. Doggy's up, doggy's in, out of the way. becomes a missile. Got to be careful. You've seen that sign on the beginning of the video, think safety. Taking her time. Nobody's in a hurry. I hope you 
you like pine, because you're going to be seeing a lot of it. Well, we got 12 and a quarter, we're going to leave that alone right there. Alright, let's lay it down and start peeling off some 1 by 12s. And we're going to take it all the way down until we get to about 6 inches. Well, until we get to about the middle of the pith, we're going to roll it one more time.
turn that back to the knees. And finish this first log up. And we'll give you two victims today. How's that sound? Yeah, we've been kind of lacking on the saw in here. Get to get on her pedals, put her tight. And let's continue now. Finish this first one up. Come on up to Corsica. That'll be next Saturday from 11 a.m. until 5. And come up and shake Pete's hand. Help him out. Pete's doing very well. He's still got a long road to hoe. And say hi to Lauren. Take us down to a full two inch. And that's what that dials for everybody. That, that tells me what I got left. There we go. Everybody says, why do you run them back? Eddie has to reach further. Well, if you got hit by a board before, you'll know why. Get another victim here. You're getting it all today. You're getting edger cam, you're getting saw cam, you're getting everything. Moving trailers. All right. A little naughty, but it'll be alright. That looks good. And what I'm seeing there, everybody. So let's get to get on our pedals. Doggy's out. That back one don't want to go where I want it to. Oh, let me bump that taper a little bit. knots here to start with, get this log opened up. Oh, we'll make an eight foot board out of that. Some beautiful paneling here. Depends on the log size. I'll probably turn this into one by ten. It just don't got quite enough girth to make a one by twelve, I don't think. So we'll take one more. Give Eddie a minute here. I got a 
pretty decent face there. Let's roll it back while we have a chance to. I just want to get up so I don't hit my headlock face. Put the taper away. Check out Troy Tree Guy. Just give Eddie a minute. Good. Yeah, 
if you're looking for a laser, go over to lumber line. In fact, I gotta talk to them at lumber line, see if they want to do an experiment. Everybody's been talking about it for oh, a couple years. Red versus green. They're, they're talking about coming out with a, I don't know if it was a 50 or 60 milliwatt red. I would like to try it and see what the difference would be. That'd be a good experiment. Ready a minute here. So we should have a lot of sawing coming up. Alright, let's go back up to Mr. Laser. Should be real close there. Just a little bit more. There we go.
All right, we're gonna try out our new hitch here. So we want to tighten them down. I brought a piece of. Actually, there's a hole for each <laughs> Yeah, you're. Uh... Yeah, the hole you're not supposed to put in your. Um... I put them in years ago for lifting stone. There you go. Put that in there. Let's get this. Let's get rid of this nylon wheel here. I don't know what they're for. Let's tighten these down just yeah. to get that wobble out of there. Yeah, that's taking all that play out of there nicely. I got a pin right here. Here, we'll put this other pin in here then. There we go. Is it going to go? Oh, yeah. Come on, put that keeper in. Oh, that's beautiful. We didn't know that them holes were going to work. Yeah, looks like we made it for it. Good job, Ed. Yeah. I got a block over here. Yeah, you want to. And this is a 12,000 pound trailer, so. I'll just make sure that don't end up on the ground there, Ed. Good, yeah. There you go. Now we're locked. You want the pin in there? All right. See how good of a driver Eddie is. These couple blocks here. Oh, sorry about the camera angle here. And we're going to move it over to the other side here. Seems to be very rigid, very well made, very nice product. And uh, I will put a link in the description of this video where to get one of these. And we also have a work basket that uh, I have, and we're going to do a couple things on the building with it. We got to change the flag, and we got a couple things we want to do on the side of the building. So we'll demonstrate that on a different video. But uh, This thing will fit our loader and our uh, skid steer, so it'll work on both pieces of equipment.
walk his dog here. It's hard to film it. All right. There it is. Tell you what. That is really a nice little device to have. Yes, um, it is. You should have seen the day we struggled trying to move the edger. I used to just hook the chains up and try to hold on to it, but that never worked well. That works pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we got a lot of uses. Every time we saw big stuff on the mill, we got to move that edger out. This will take 30 seconds. But if you have a camper too. Yeah, boat, you could you can move a camper yeah, around. Whatever. Anything, but uh, yeah. And it's, it's very, very well made, very heavy duty. So, uh, hey, go over to Landtop and check it out. And, and Eddie has a hat, but uh, he has the wrong hat on. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was so nice a hat, yeah. I was kind of saving it for Sunday. But yeah, that's a I'm Sunday gonna hat. I'm going to put it on next video. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have, like I said, we'll, we'll put a link in the description on how to find one of these. And we also have the man basket to try out. And you'll see that on a different video. So, all right. Back to it. Well, this gives you a little bit better scope of uh, the size of that log pile. If you look at that machine comparison, our loader comparison, that pile, that is one heck of a pile of pine to saw through. But I, sure, I, I assure you, we will saw all this up and you'll get to see a lot of nice videos coming your way. So, we're going to go ahead and Get some sawdust loaded out of here today and uh, we'll try to wrap this up for today. Right, there it is. That's just three logs out of that huge pile. Yes. And what do we got? 300 and... Oh, three, just a bit under 350 board feet. That's a lot of wood for three logs. It's really and, nice, uh, too. Yeah, so we shot a snack video. We shot uh, a okay. regular video. Uh, we got some spruce to cut into two-by-fours for a upcoming, probably Friday video. Yes. Uh, and we'd like to thank the, the folks at Landtop 
That worked really, really oh, well. Oh, that thing there, it's, it, like I said, if you've got a camper, you've got a boat, it's, you it's need a, one. Yes, yes, if you have, uh, you want to utilize your forks, because mm -hmm. we tried with the chains, it didn't work out so well. Uh, and, uh, you lose the trailer, then you, you bend something. Yeah. yeah, it just don't end well, so. All right, everybody, hey, thanks for coming along, and uh, hope you like seeing pine sawed up, because. Yeah, go over the time with the Eddie Horvath, you'll, you'll see me see and that. Hank down here muscling this stuff. And then there also there was an edger sighting yes. in Maine. So go over and check out Troy Tree Guy. Mm -hmm. And they got the edger unloaded. Um, yeah. A lot more to come up on the edger. So. Yeah, they're worth watching. Yes, absolutely. So, all right, thanks for coming along. We'll catch you on next Thank one. Thank you. All right, bye-bye.